Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Meek and welcome back if you aren't new here. And if you don't know, I make arcade by output content, some tutorials, mostly all tutorials teaching you things about arcade that, you know, maybe you don't know. So definitely subscribe to my channel to learn more. Also check out all of my videos on arcade. And I also have a lot of videos about outputs you know different plugins and things like that so i get really under the hood i love output and i love what they do so today's a special day because they just released the distant voices no kits okay and distant voices is a sample vocal sample line which is really dope it's also my favorite when i discovered distant voices i was like yeah this is me it's very serene calm and things like that and so are the no kits so let's uh check out the no kits so here they are in the flesh they are all brand new and they are all very distant and here is the description far away the pads are humming where echoes of otherworldly vocals dissolve into the vast and never-ending drone lush layers of organic air bring depth to your mix and breathe life into your creative workflow without ever getting in the way okay that was very poetic, okay? I almost felt like I was reading something by Shakespeare with that description. So shout out to that writer. So what I'm gonna do is go into Logic Pro X. So I'm in Logic Pro X, now I'm gonna pull up the arcade stereo. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just turn on a transposer because I'm gonna just be, you know, demo some sound. So I'm gonna be in E minor today. And then I'm gonna go to this chord or triggering VST core prism um if you don't know what it is it's something like I, I don't know i don't i never use scalar 2 but from the commercials similar in the sense that they have core progressions that you can do a lot of different things with them i pretty much like it if you want to know if it's uh how, how i like it i like it and we're going to go to some patches all right so i went ahead and downloaded them all um so what we're gonna start off with let's start off with angel song pretty Okay, pretty title now it's just loading the kit up all right so i'm gonna show you just a, a few things too all right so stay tuned this is not just walkthrough or anything like that which it is that but it's more than that because i'm going to be teaching you some things about how to make it your own make the sounds your own in a very meek is and wisdom fashion okay let's play with some chords let me open up chord prism again I want to I want to finish that Heavenly, okay? Heavenly, beautiful, 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 okay? You got to add that passing chord with that one. So it's very it, it gives me an org, organ sound. Like it sounds like an organ. Turn on the transposer. So now I'm about to just play around with it. Okay, very, very beautiful. Wow. All right, so I'm about to try something. So since we in Logic Pro X, what I'm about to do, uh, watch this, what I, watch what I do, watch what I do. All right, so I'm going to go to electric piano. All right, so I'm going to do that. And I got to drag it to a new track because other than that, otherwise it'll um, cut that out. like it let me see okay I like that So I already got, I got it on 12 semitones. Let me just be extra and do it at negative 24 and make it really long. Maybe it won't even play because, oh yes it will, yes it will. So you can make some different type of stuff with this, like 
Especially if you just know your way around your doll. Sheesh. All right, I just want some regular cords. All right, let's hear it normal. Oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, let me um save that. Let me save this. See, it's all about thinking outside the box. Now, since I got the core trigger on, you know, I mean the transposer on, it's going to transpose it to chords and E minor instead of C minor. I'm about to bounce it. I'm about to bounce it. So you can make some beautiful loops. You can make some beautiful loops with uh, distant voices. All right, so let's get back. Okay, so whenever, if, if your logic is ever acting up after you make your, you know, chord progression, just always bounce it and it should be fine. So one I really liked it's only they don't have that many just yet, but they will have some, some more. I sound like I work for them. I don't work for them. <laughs> I just know. I feel like I know how they think now. Today was uh, my favorite to play with. Uh, this is Transmute, okay, and super cool, right? So I told you guys we're going to be getting under the hood to see what we can do different, and that's what we're going to do. So let's go to Tweak. Okay, Tweak is to the right of the title of your preset, okay? So let's look at what they did in Transmute, okay? We got three different layers, okay? We got three of the same layers. Very dope, okay? Here, they turned down the semitone on the layer C, okay? And they turned it, the volume is lower, 30 with 32 so it gets lower as we go down our top one they got some frequency on there they got a it look it look like a low pass frequency from this angle and it's cutting out from the low to the high point so we're going to layer this with some different sounds from the distant voices sound kit now mine's is tweaking for some reason right now i know that so usually when you go to your layers you would click here and you would find a line that you want and it will bring up you know just the different one shots and pads and things like that and right now it's not bringing it up for me. I know it works because I was playing with this earlier. So I don't know what happened. Okay, but just know that that's usually not an issue. It is new, so things happen, okay? So what we're gonna do since, you know, our lines aren't showing up, we can just go down here and find, you know, a sound, okay? Go down here to these arrows and you can scroll over and it'll some different ones. All right, so I'm gonna just do the Emery Box A crescendo. Eh, crescendo, I guess that's what it mean. All right, here I'm gonna find another one as well. So let's... Go. All right, so I'm going to go with the uh, Lee's Fox I. Ah. All right, and we can listen to them how they all sound individually too. So let's see. I can 
turn it up a little bit if you want to. Alright, so let's let's play around real fast. One dope thing about this, so when you go to advanced, I'm gonna show you how to so you see that we can only trigger the keys from six one to C five, the octave range. We can change that. So we can go to here to advanced and you can go to color and you can just lower it. And as you look down here you will see the um the notes and you know the black keys and these are supposed to be the white keys you'll see them spreading so go for that so let's just do so if you want to if you want all right so that's how you lower the pitching okay Keep mine at negative four there. And you can also do it individually with, with each one. Edit, advance. And you can just change the color. They're all at negative four. You can change the color if you like. You can also change how many voices there are. Always keep mine at 16. And you can also change flutter rate. So say if I was to go down here to this one go to advanced and I can turn up the drive drive always gives it more volume and things like that flutter turn it up turn up the amount of the flutter and all of these things are connected to flutter the amount and fade in so All right. Once you turn the amount down, you pretty much turn these two down. So, all right. That's just some cool stuff. And also, you can change the color down there to lower, you know, the octave or to raise it. Okay. Let's play around. So, up here, I'm going to turn these on for a second. So, so for my second layer, I'm going to turn it up 12 semitones. I had a great dream last night. All right, and down here I turned it down 12, negative 12 already. All right, so I'm going to just turn that up like this. All right, I can also turn on the looper. Looper. If I wanted to, and I play around with it. So that could be a hard intro. All right, I like it. I like it a lot. So let me um put that back. All right, let me turn on layer A real fast. Let's see. I'm going to turn on a pendulum and the and um, looper. cool however you play it though let's see so turn it off so let's go to the mixer layer c i'm gonna put hmm, put a distortion on it turn up the dry web that's dope i'm gonna turn it down for now layer c is my lower vocal so let me get out of advanced 
I'm gonna turn this. Some, I'm gonna turn this down some here. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. All right. So now what I'm going to do is change this one because I'm not too, not a big fan of that one. So let's go. I'm gonna change this layer entirely. I'm gonna go to a different line. So I'm gonna try that one. I can go dope with it. Some fills on there. Oh, I like that one. All right, let me go to the mixer. Got a phaser. Turn on the output. All right, and it's just tweaking until you want it. Get it. I like it without the ensemble. That's dope. Very like just fresh, new, a new sound. Let's hear it with the chord trigger. Super cool. All right, so yeah. Distant Voices is super fun, super cool. You can do some dope things with it. Um, check out Distant Voices. Tell me what you think about the new pack. How you see yourself using it. I already know this is going to be used for some pads, some dark beats, some meditative you know, beats and stuff like that. So I'm happy to be using it. And thank you for watching.